Welcome back to my daily reports market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Wednesday, the 15th of April. Looking at uh, dollar yen now, um, dollar yen sliding away in the last week or so. Um, a succession of negative candles has really sort of taken the market back towards a test of this key 10690 level of support, which was that uh, 1st of April low. Um, tested that pretty much to the pip today. Um, and rebounded off it, but just starting to see the negative um, momentum building up on these momentum indicators, the um, MACD lines beginning to accelerate lower as the Stochastics and RSI, they're all at multi-week lows, and starting to suggest that this breakdown may well now happen. Now, we've had a little technical rally in the last hour or so that started to fall over again. I've got the crosshair around that 107.50 mark, interestingly, um, that old low from uh, Monday, which has become resistance today. Uh, 108.80, again, another pivot line on a near-term basis, 108.80. And then above that, you're looking at um, 108, sorry, 107.80 uh, being that pivot line, and then 108.20 being this old, oh, it's the wrong way this old sort of uh, pivot line as well. So there is plenty of resistance overhead. Um, and given the fact that, again, once more, the market is turned over at 60 on the hourly RSI. But I mentioned this morning about sort of 45 to 50, where the accelerated sell-off was uh, was faltering. Well, that's uh, that little technical rally that we saw this morning has sort of put a pin in that one, but certainly falling over again around that 60 mark on hourly RSI does still play into the fact that the market remains corrective underneath that uh, 55 hour moving average as well that continues uh, and it just still continues to suggest that uh, little technical rallies are a chance to sell on dolly yen for a continued pressure on that 106.90 level breaching that you're back into the mid 105s really um 106.70 is that 50 cent fib level but you're basically uh, you've got a uh, pivot line around 105.85. You've got these old lows from August, September as well to consider once more. So it just really does turn the market more corrective in the fact that you now start, you then below 106.90, you'd then be having a lower high being this uh, 109.40 and lower low as well. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website sign up for our webinar.